Hey everybody, well it came to my attention that I have not done a video in a long time and I have not done a video that deals with the Equation Solver. The Equation Solver is right on the main menu there, it's under Equation. A uh, very cool function, uh, especially if you're doing some uh, solving for different variables. It is not a computer algebra system, so it will not solve symbolically, but it will solve numerically, so it's similar to numerical solvers on other machines. So I've got a highlighter. I go ahead and hit execute. I've got three choices. You can do simultaneous equations, polynomials, and the general solver. The general solver is pretty cool if you have, uh, like I said, different variables you want to plug into. So let's start with that one. We'll start with F3. I've got an equation typed in there currently. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. You also notice there's a recall button. If you've got a function stored somewhere, like I've got a parametric stored in Y1, I could just go ahead and copy and paste that. If not, you can just create your own. Uh, let's um, let's do volume. So we're just going to start out with some of the variables. Volume equals volume of Oh, let's see. Four thirds pi r cubed. Now that doesn't help. Well, let's go down. Four thirds pi r cubed. Pi. Notice it has, does have the uh, natural display there. Times r cubed. There really is no limit to variables you can use. Maybe you can use r cubed. Now you've got two variables, and it recognizes that v is a variable and r is a variable. So I'm going to put in value for r. I want the calculator to do some solving, so I'm going to execute there. Toggle up and ask it to solve for v. As long as your left and right values here are the same, that means that this is the answer. If the left and right value are not the same, you hit repeat. But we could also do, okay, well, what if the volume is 500? What is the R value? What does the radius have to be? There you have it. And let's do a couple other ones. Let's, um, Delete that. Let's go with uh, something Algebra 1 students will recognize. Max plus B alpha M times X plus, whoops, I'll go alpha X. You know what? I don't want alpha X. I just want regular old X. Uh, we'll use alpha x, why not? Times alpha x plus b equals alpha y. Y equals mx plus b. Now you got a lot of variables here. Notice it will plug into all of those. So if you know the slope is one half, for example, slope is a half. The x value is five. The y intercept I don't know. I know that the um, I don't know the intercept, but I do know the point it goes through is, I don't know, let's say 9. What kind of a y-intercept will give me that answer? Let me go back up and solve that one. So that tells me where B should be. Again, left and right values are the same. If left and right values are not the same, you repeat. 
again really no limit to how you how you can do this there is a limit i think four or five variables i'm not sure if it'll let me put one more variable in let's go ahead and see if i can put one more in there uh, let's put in alpha a Uh, so there is a lot of variables you can put in there. I'm not exactly sure how many, but there is quite a few. All right, so let's exit that. Let's try our polynomial solver. Polynomial solver, you can do up to a six-degree polynomial. Let's go with a uh, third-degree polynomial. Third degree. Plug in some values here. Notice it kind of looks like a matrix. Plug in a negative value. And that's it. So let me just go ahead and hit solve. Now I've got it in complex mode, so when I should set up my mode, should set up. Exit that. Let me go into my setup to show you what I did. I am in complex mode, so complex mode will give me the complex answers. If you're not in complex mode, if you're in real mode, it'll just give you the real answers. It will skip the complex ones. But I want to see all of them, including the complex ones. If it's a simplifiable equation or a simplifiable answer, it will actually show you the simplified answer in fractional form, if it's possible. But there's your three roots. Then you can repeat, change one of the values. Just go ahead and hit solve. Exit that, exit that. Again, you can do up to six degree. And the last one is the simultaneous equations. Again, you can have up to six simultaneous equations. We'll just go with three. Plug in some values here. Sorry about that. I see what I did there. I had the negative in the wrong spots. Alright, so we plug in a couple of values. I'm not really even sure if this is going to give me a uh, solution or not. You get the idea. There you have it. And again, there's your simplified forms of your three answers. Your X, your Y, and your Z. And it will give you some unique um, answers if you put in something that has uh, infinite solutions, one solution, no solution. Let's just do one of those real quick. We'll, do with a, we'll go with a linear combination of, the, of each other. We'll go with the same equation, 2, 4, and 6. Just a linear combination of the first. Infinitely many solutions. And, of course, if you did something like... No solution. Okay, so there you have it. This is the solver. It's a numerical solver. This is not a computer algebra system. Don't try to do computer algebra stuff on this. It won't work. Other requests I've been getting are for programming. Programming menu is robust, and it's a, it's a big series of videos. So uh, I'll be working on some programming, some simple commands. How do you uh, do some simple programs on this? So keep an eye out. For that uh, keep the requests coming i'm more than happy to go ahead and do those for you so thanks